One of the biggest challenges in photography is knowing what settings to use to get the best portrait or picture possible. Well, wouldn't it be great if there was a professional photographer inside your camera to make those decisions for you? Guess what? Intelligent Automatic is just like that. Let me show you how easy it is. On the dial on the top, you're just going to turn the dial to IA and instantly it's going to be able to make choices for you. Let's see how that works. I'm going to put my camera pointed right here at these flowers and notice this little icon right here. It actually shows that it needs to be on macro. It's so smart. Let's recompose over here. We've got a bowl of fruit. Look at this. It actually recognizes that it's food. There's a little fork and a plate. How cool is that? Then if we put people in front of there, it sees the faces and it actually puts it in portrait mode. It is so smart. So what if you want to make some of your own choices and maybe you want to control things? That's where Intelligent Automatic Plus comes in. All you need to do to change it is go back to the menu on the back and you're going to press the center button and then you're going to use your cursor to go to IA Plus. When you go in there, now you have some other options. So let's say we're looking at this scene right here. There we go. I've got a nice little scene with some flowers. If I want to modify this, I just do my up cursor button and that gives me three controls. I have my exposure compensation, I have depth of field, and I have color. So I can just turn this little cursor, the cursor wheel, to make it brighter or darker and it you can see it, it's constant preview. And then if I want to go down the down arrow, I can change the depth of field. Now we can't really see that in the studio, there's not enough depth, but out on location you would. One more down and that gives you your color. You can make the image cooler or warmer just with the dial. Now this is one smart little camera.